Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about addition and subtraction formulas for sine and cosine. All right, so our objectives are to apply angle addition subtraction formulas for sine and cosine without using a calculator. We're going to solidify your skill of rationalizing the uh, denominator, <laughs> rationalizing the denominator with a binomial and a square root in <coughs> the denominator. All right. So the question is, how do we find the cosine of 15 degrees without using a calculator? And the answer is, all right, we're going to use uh, the angle addition and subtraction formulas for sine and cosine to figure that out. Uh, so we're going to use also what we know about 30, 60, 90 triangles and 45, 45, 90 triangles <coughs> uh, in re uh, regards to cosine and trig functions, sine, cosine and sine functions, uh, in order to figure out the sine or cosine of an angle measure that you might not otherwise know. All right, so just as a refresher, sine, cosine, tangent of 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. Why don't you go ahead and find these values? I'll pause here for a moment. All right, so you see in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, sine and cosine are both root 2 over 2. Tangent is 1. In a 30, 60, 90 triangle, sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Cosine is root 3 over 2. Tangent is root 3 over 3. In a 60 degree angle, for a 60 degree angle, uh, sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. Cosine is 1 half. Tangent is root 3. And for uh, a 90 degree angle, sine is 1, cosine is 0, and tangent is undefined. All right, so now let's go back to finding uh, cosine of 15 degrees without using a calculator using the cosine uh, angle addition or subtraction formulas. Right, so you can do this two ways, uh, cosine of 45 degrees minus 30, or cosine of 60 minus 45. I did it, cosine of 60 minus 45. So it would be cosine, so going back to the formula, cosine 60 times cosine 45 plus sine of 60 times sine of 45 leaves us with 1 half times root 2 over 2 plus root 3 over 2 times root 2 over 2, which leaves us with root 2 over 4 plus root 6 over 4, or root 2 plus root 6 over 4. All right, so uh, I want you to find the cosine of 75 degrees. I'm going to pause here for a moment. All right, so cosine of 75 degrees is cosine 45 plus 30. Cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2 times root 3 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 times 1 half leaves us with root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4. Next one, cosine of 15 degrees. Cosine of 15 degrees. I'm going to pause here while you figure this out. Right, cosine of 15 degrees is cosine of 60 minus 45. Uh, we did this before in the prior example. You could also do 45 minus 30. Uh, so I'll quickly run through this and the answer. All right, so let's go in the other direction. So now we're, in essence, condensing the value. So cosine 15, cosine 10 minus sine 50, sine 10. I'll let you figure this out as I pause. All right, cosine 50 plus 10 is cosine 60. We can evaluate cosine 60 as 1 half. All right, next one, cosine 5 pi over 12 times cosine 5 pi over 12 minus sine 5 pi over 12, sine uh, pi over 12, excuse me. So I'll let you figure this out. It ends up being uh, cosine 5 pi over 12 plus pi over 12, or cosine 6 pi over 12, or pi halves. Cosine pi halves is equal to 0. All right, now let's get the uh, sine addition and subtraction formulas. So sine uh, a plus b is sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. Sine a minus b is sine a uh, cosine b minus cosine a sine b. I want you to figure out the sine of 105. I'll pause here while you figure that out. All right, we're going to use 60 and 45. Sine 60 cosine 45 <coughs> plus uh, cosine 60 sine 45. So this would be sine of 60 plus 45. Uh, which ends up being uh, root 3 over 2 times root 2 over 2 uh, plus 1 half times root 2 over 2, uh, which is equal to root 6 plus root 2 over 4. Okay, moving on. Another example, sine of negative 15. I'll pause here while you figure this out. Right, sine of negative 15, sine uh, is going to be equal to sine 
of uh, 30 minus 45 degrees. And the subtraction formula is this was sine 30 cosine 45 minus cosine 30 sine uh, 45. One half times root 2 over 2 minus root 3 over 2 times root 2 over 2. This is the root 2 minus root 6 over 4. All right, so now we're going to condense again other direction. I'll pause here while you figure this out. All right, sine 75 minus 15 is equal to sine 60. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Next problem. Same thing, but in radian measure. I'm going to pause here while you figure this out. This becomes sine 4 pi over 3 minus pi over 3, or sine 3 pi over 3, which is the same as sine of 180, which is equal to 0. All right, so I want you to condense the following expression using the addition and subtraction formulas for sine and cosine. I'm going to pause here while you figure this out. All right, so sine 30 plus theta is the same as sine 30 cosine theta plus cosine 30 sine theta, which is 1 half cosine theta plus root 3 over 2 sine theta. And then taking the second expression, sine 30 minus theta, we get sine 30 cosine theta minus cosine 30 sine theta, which is 1 half cosine theta minus root 3 over 2 sine theta. And when we combine like terms, we get uh, cosine theta plus 3 over 2 sine theta minus 3 over 2 sine theta, which ends up being cosine of theta. All right, so given that sine of alpha is equal to 4 over 5, sine beta is equal to 5 over 13, find cosine alpha plus beta, where alpha is between 0 and pi halves, and beta is between pi halves and pi. All right, so we're going to draw our triangle here in the first and second quadrant. We know that uh, alpha is in the first quadrant, so I know that uh, sine of alpha is 4 over 5. So I draw my uh, values here, 4 over 5. I know that the cosine of the x value is 3. Uh, sine beta, beta is in the second quadrant, uh, so uh, sine beta is 5 over 13. And the x value is going to be negative 12, so the cosine of beta is negative 12 over 13. So I write, rewrite my expression cosine alpha plus beta is cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta, which is 3 over 5 times negative 12 over 13 minus 4 fifths times 5 over 13, which is equal to negative 36 over 65 minus 20 over 65, or minus 56 over 65. Okay, that's it for 10.1, uh, addition and subtraction formulas for sine and cosine. Please join us in the next edition when we talk about addition and subtraction formulas for tangent uh, and Otten math.